the only thing I think we have in Tokyo A. And all the, all the old thing also we have in Nikat, uh, yeah, anyway, yeah. <laughs> really you don't need to look at all. And closing out with Josie and Nandu, and closing of course with the ICEP. So the motion of this house group, if the other uh, member of the group is saying, if you think you're not in campaign to demonstrate the animal cruelty, I have to quote from the Prime Minister to give this back. Human is suffering, human is an animal, 
misunderstood this context of this debate. The, the thing is, they haven't presented any argument based on what should the animal rights movement do. They just made a silly assertion that, stating that people will make silly decisions and so forth. Firstly, this is irrelevant from the irrelevant from this goal of the debate because this house is the animal rights movement, which is willing to progress the right of animals. No, thank you. Secondly, she explained, generally she said, exaggeration is unjustifiable. This is not true. For example, UNICEF, even if it advocates for poor children in the developing countries, it, it doesn't exaggerate the image to a certain extent. Because even though not all the children in the developing countries, no, thank you, are suffering from poverty or suffering from uh, diseases, they exaggerate and show this extremely shocking image to make people not forget about the, there are people who are suffering in this world. So therefore, we believe exaggeration itself is justifiable to a certain extent, which will be further emphasized in my speech. Secondly, she had made a practical, silly argument saying that if we take this, if the animal rights movement take a radical stance on and show human images to their advertisement, people will suddenly make these silly decisions, like blindly stopping eating meat or something. This is unrealistic and not true, because firstly, there are people who, want, who really enjoy eating meat, and we don't think these people would suddenly change their decision, no thank you. Rather, we say this thrust a sincere and genuine question to people who are blindly sacrificing animals. For example, the woman not knowing but sacrificing animals uh, for their cosmetics, for their uh, experience, and so forth. Which will nicely lead me to our substantial from opening opposition, but before that, yes. Do you agree that society already owes value the existence of the animal rights movement? <laughs> yes, because we know that there are shocking images on, for example, TV, that um, a TV program exclusively featuring how animals are killed and executed for, for meat. And at least educated citizens, average reasonable people like us, at least know that animal rights do exist and animal rights movement also exists. Now, firstly, my substantive, no thank you. Um, then, this, firstly, this, pro this proposal practically foster a sense of sympathy towards animals, which will advance the animal rights movement. Now, and the second argument would also be why this procedure of showing a shocking image is procedure-wise, tactics-wise, justifiable uh, from the right of animal rights now. So in the status quo, as I have briefly touched in my introduction, there is this psychology of human beings turning against from their inconvenient truth. For example, for a long time, many people were turning against from the fact that of global warming and from slavery and so forth. We believe that the same thing is happening in the animal in, in, in certain perspectives. No, thank you. Generally, we think that, well, we like to meet, eat, we like to eat onigiri, which we'll, we may have tonight. And we don't think it's a big deal to begin with, right, ladies and gentlemen? We think it is, we don't even recognize in many cases that those sacrifices of animals are made even if the, there are some certain TV programs dedicated of featuring those facts. We think that, we think that animals are, are from the beginning a different object. They're not li maybe even living in the first place. That's why we don't even care for those sacrifices. That is what is happening in the status quo, and many people are not even aware that animals are sacrificed for their daily necessities and so forth. If we take this proposal, ladies and gentlemen, the uniqueness of this psychology will change. For example, we will see that we're all, we are doing this kind of cruelty to animals, for example, on trains like we see UNICEF, UNICEF advertisement, which will shift these people's consciousness towards what we are doing for their daily necessities. We will think that we're doing something cruel to the, the beings, no thank you, the existence which could feel pain, which also feels sorrow of being treated badly. This will cause a further discourse into the society of questioning the necessity of this sacrifice. We're not saying, no thank you, we're not saying, ladies and gentlemen, that people should not eat meat or people should blindly, blindly believe into this animal rights 
for all costs. But we want to actually uh, alarm these people, this sacrifice, and, and putting a, gen, uh, a genuine question of the necessity. And they will, they will actually have a serious discussion of what is necessary and what is not, which, may, which will probably be. Uh, and, oh, sorry, I'll next explain about this justification. We believe that from the, rights, from the perspective of animal rights movement rights, even if it may affect the, some people who may be offended by this speech, we believe that there is freedom of expression for these people to send their message out to the society. For example, example examples are people saying that God may not exist, um, feminist movement using bikini pictures of women, of a symbol of women of being sexualized, even if it may uh, offend some people. We believe as long as counter discord can, can exist and people who may be offended can generally protect themselves, we, we believe that this sort of expression should be justified. For, for all those reasons, ladies and gentlemen, for the sake of animal rights movement, we should oppose this motion. Thank you.
as an animal, or however we can to change our behaviors in a way. Those things that are those people, people like to regard or think about those animal or animal animal uh, movements as somehow radical and uh, taking two uh, part stances like a total different from kind of reality. No more people set down this course at all. A single group is saying this is going to uh, uh people are things that are dubious about this person, right? Uh, because um uh, like like people are things that like um <coughs> okay so like who are you saying about like rather another part of that situation is better um so let's talk about a second issue about uh, power and <coughs> words of the world okay you have explained abuses already shared how would you encourage discussion when this issue is not sincerely recognized when animals are regarded as not significant beings and just treated as breaking your solitude so, uh,
your own beyond the shadow of position to be. So that every single human being has potential or possibility to ultimately support animal rights. Because every single human being has feeling and like have ability to sympathize with other human beings. For example, Mr. Speaker, but Mr. Speaker, I'm gonna say that too, we are turning blind eye to the inconvenient truth. For example, when we are eating beef, like we are eating yakiniku or like shabu yesterday, <laughs> You know, we, we don't want to like think about the you imagine the situation where animal is being killed and stuff like Mr. Speaker. And, and and because this like animal we, the fact that abusing animal is an inconvenient truth, Mr. Speaker, you know, human beings have tendency to turn blind eye, Mr. Speaker, to protect themselves, Mr. Speaker. You know, that, and, 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 and and try to come up with a justifying reason to eat the animal, Mr. Speaker. And what is a justifying reason, Mr. Speaker? That is, Mr. Speaker, sense of other, Mr. Speaker. We justify eating animal. We justify causing pain to the animal by the reason that you know animal is other. Animal is different from us, Mr. Speaker. And as a consequence, so so Mr. Speaker, in order to in order for the animal rights movement to effectively convey their message to the people, effectively increase the support of the animal rights movement, which is extremely, extremely important for animal rights movement to remove the sense of other, Mr. Speaker, from you know ordinary people, Mr. Speaker. And we believe that this uh, like this method is uniquely different from just showing the picture of animal because you know, we are using human beings and human beings are you know, like us so by utilizing human beings being like, treated brutally in the same manner as animal we believe that these people can no longer use the logic that they are other Mr. Speaker we believe that this is a very effective way of reducing the uh, sense of otherness and Mr. Speaker this is extremely important and my father has clearly explained this Mr. Speaker this, this is a very effective way of like, promoting the rights of you know, uh, some, some people Mr. Because under the, the era of slavery, you know, we did extremely cruel things to the black people or people who are slaves, Mr. Speaker. But the, and the logic that was used was, you know, it's okay for us to do cruel things to the black people because black people are different from us. Black people are other, Mr. Speaker. And this example shows removing a sense of otherness is extremely important. And as a consequence, as, and as, as Lincoln has successfully removed the sense of, you know, otherness, to regarding the slavery and achieve, you know, the issue, uh, like resolve the issue of slavery, Mr. Speaker. We believe this proposal is a very effective way for animal rights movement to achieve the goal. That's why we believe the animal rights movement should continue to take this stance. So the second speaker from opposition, I'm going to briefly respond to what previous speaker said, and I'm going to further explain why current, like current tactics animal rights movement is using is not adequate. Now, moving on to the response. First of all, what Achan said was because the image is shows because image is so shocking, the people will suddenly stop talking about it, Mr. Speaker. There is no logic behind that, Mr. Speaker. Because, because we believe that the ordinary response when a human being sees a shocking image is because it's not like shutting down this, but think about it, Mr. Speaker. When we see that like, horrible image of war, for example, children being abused in the war, Mr. Speaker, we, we will not like, automatically shut down this because we are more likely to feel sympathy for the children who are brutally treated and we are more likely to think about the children who are brutally treated in the war, Mr. Speaker, when we see the image of cruel image. So we don't really think that is the truth. And also, Mr. Speaker, we are believing that this shocking image will all, not only lead to like, emotional discussion but also logical discussion as well because you know, when this kind of demonstration or this kind of like, campaign happens, you know, there are a lot of articles about it. For example, in the New York Times, there was an editorial which explained logically the reason why we support the animal rights, Mr. Speaker. For you, right, there are many people who logically explain in the law that why animal rights has, uh, has to be protected. So we knew that this kind of campaign will not only cause emotional response, but also cause you know, logical discussion as well, because people are more likely to think about this issue more, Mr. Speaker, because animal rights will become more controversial issue. Yes. Applaud Thank you. Considering the fact that you accept that people in society do not yet agree that animals have the same amount of rights as humans, when you use this radical tactic, why are they going to sympathize but not just simply be disgusted? Well, yes, there might be some people who might be disgusted, but there are also people who have potential to sympathize with animal beings because, you know, animal is the same. And they, they can realize that animal has the same aspect as us, that is, ability to feel the pain and ability to feel suffering. True, Mr. Speaker, as I just said, you know, there might be people who get antagonized and who have a little bit of antipathy toward the animal rights movement. But Mr. Speaker, these are the people from the beginning are not so much interested in animal rights from the beginning, right, Mr. Speaker, under the CSO. So even if this section of people may develop antipathy for the animal rights movement, there wouldn't be that much difference, Mr. Speaker, you know, Mr. Speaker. And what we are saying is 
what, is, what we are saying that because majority of people have the potential to sympathize with animal misery, it is extremely important for making these people take an action step to protect the animal rights movement, Mr. Speaker. And I also raised in TOI that you know, we, we, there is already awareness regarding the animal rights. True, Mr. Speaker. We debate that always talk about animal rights, right? You know, how animal rights are important, how animal resentment. But how many debaters take an action step to you know, protect animal? Mr. Speaker, there, there are many people. Because even though people are aware of the existence of animal rights on knowledge level, nobody is taking action. That's because people who oh, are I not feeling sympathy towards the animal. Raising the sympathy is extremely important. Now, the second thing, let me talk about another reason why current tactics is not working. You know, I know, as Dr. King has pointed out, there are many you know, tactics animal rights movement has been taking. You know, animal rights movement has been fighting for animal rights for many years. And there are a lot of document, documentary or TV program or you know, animal rights movement has been using the picture of animal being cruelly treated. However, Mr. Speaker, because they have been using this tactic for 30 or 40 years, people are, people are getting used to it, right, Mr. Speaker? Even if animal, there's a documentary about the animal, animal abuse, you know, because you know there are many documentaries in the past, people people will not get shocked and people will not, you know, uh, the media will, will not have incentive to pay so much attention to it, Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, by utilizing this kind of new method, this is obviously a new method that the animal rights movement is using from the past. We believe that people are much more likely to pay attention more in compared with before. This is exam this is evident evidence by the fact that you know, when this animal rights movement displays a movement uh, who are treated like animal, uh, animal